It wasn't quite the pitching duel many expected between the Blue Jays and the Houston Astros on Monday night, but both J.A. Happ and Justin Verlander battled in the opener of the three-game series. Tied at 3-3 going into the seventh inning, leadoff man Curtis Granderson's second solo home run of the night off his former teammate Verlander made the difference. It was the 37-year-old's 22nd career multi-home run game and first since September 2016. The right fielder now has three home runs in his last two games. The Jays' Curtis Granderson watches his solo shot off Astros starter Justin Verlander take off during seventh inning action Monday night in Houston. Eric Christian Smith, the Associated Press, Randall Gritchick gave Toronto some breathing room with a late two-run homer to make it a 6-3 win. Knight's starting center fielder, who moved to right for the ninth inning, also saved a three-run home run with a last gasp catch off George Springer to nab the first out of the final inning. The Blasts, and Grechuk's defensive the tricks helped earn Happ his 10th win of the season through 15 outings. Article continued below with starters struggled in the early goings, tossing upwards of 26 pitches in a lengthy first inning. Verlander gave up two runs in that frame, off a two-out RBI double by Justin Smoke, who scored former Houston man Tiascar Hernandez and Yanger Vassilarte. Hap surrendered just one run despite throwing 30 pitches, when the Astros resident Gurriel, Yuli, brother of Lourdes, scored Jose Altuve with an RBI single. Verlander didn't give up another run until Granderson's first dinger in the fifth, which tied the game for the visitors after Houston's third baseman Alex Bregman drove the run in each of the third and fourth innings. The right-hander outlasted his left-handed counterpart, tossing six and two-thirds innings to half six, but Verlander gave up the winning homer to Granderson with two out in the seventh. The pair finished with very similar lines, each gave up seven hits and two walks, but Verlander struck out six to Hap's four and, crucially, Hap gave up the one fewer run. It was third first time Verlander has allowed more than three runs in a game this season. Joe Biagini, John Axford and Sun Wino saw the game out for the Blue Jays on the mound. Overall, it was a night of celebration for the Jays at Minute Maid Park. Hernandez and reliever Tyler Clippard both received their World Series rings from Houston's 2017 win in a pre-game ceremony. Grichik, a native of a suburb of Houston, whose eighth-inning blast off Astros reliever Will Harris traveled 471 feet, the longest by a Toronto player this year, reportedly had a large group of family and friends in the crowd for the win. The feel-good storylines are likely to continue in Texas on Tuesday night, with 24-year-old Ryan Borutsky expected to make his Major League debut on the mound for the Jays against right-hander Charlie Morton.